Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, what about YouTubers and Madden fans? This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Packers playbook. This is by far my most requested playbook. So in my last Draft Champions uh, ranked competition, I went. There's a gameplay of it out. I'll go ahead and I'll pop a link to that in the top right corner as I'm saying that, but. In the last draft champions I did, um, the Packers came up, and I was like, you know what? There's so many people asking for Packers plays. I said, I'll pick that, and I'll lab it against people live. And it's working out pretty good. I'm 3-0. You know, I still got one game to go, um, and you know, because those ranked competitions, you can, I think you max out of four games. So it's working out pretty good. Um, so I, I got a formation here that I've been using that's pretty much my bread and butter for the entire offense. It's out of the single back A slot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna pick that. There's about, I want to say five or six plays out of this um, that, are, that are pretty good. A couple of run plays that are really dominant. I can't say that there's a lot of variation of plays out here that I use too much. That's how you know how good this one is because I really just used it over and over and over. I really could make something out of the pack trips. There's a couple of um, really, a uh, couple of plays that I used, and there's a couple of really unique looking uh, setups that I could make some plays out of. So if you guys wanna see that, hit the like button. Uh, but other than that, let's go and let's get into it. Single back A slot. The next one I'm gonna show is the PAFL stretch. This one here, um, something I used. Um, this this formation here I've used in uh, you know a couple different uh, setups. It's real simple, you got a couple options here. Um, you can basically cross the tight ends, which I find is best. Um, or you can leave it the way it is. I don't think that he's really going to get open like that. I think it'd be a little bit better putting him on a, uh, a flat beater there so you can play off Rodgers a little bit. Um, but And then you could also do something like this. So this way you have four levels of passing uh, where Nelson and Adam play off each other. I think is a pretty good way to go. Um, and then you could also take your running back here. You can motion him out uh, to kind of stretch the field, which you know, I don't necessarily you know feel like that's the most necessary way to go because I think that... Uh, this, this scenario almost can pull him in front of Adams, but what I, I think this really works to do is get the tight ends open. So let's go ahead and let's rock it one time like this. And I threw it in that window. I could have waited, but they really were sending the heat. Yeah, I tend to like the play action though. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of play action passing because I run the ball a lot and I think that that really um, can get your user stuck uh, in the middle of the field, which is nice. So I think if you're going to run this, you can run the full the full boot. Um, but I think canceling the play action is kind of a good a good idea. Hitting R2 right after you snap the ball. Uh, because I feel if you cancel the play action pre-snap uh, by just putting the uh, running back into a block, uh, whether you do that or not, I find that you get um, the benefit of the play action if you cancel it right away. I still think the, it still has the effect. Oh, wow. We're going to wrap that cover too. Touchdown. Let's go. So now that I've done that a couple times, let's run it the other way. Let's run it the other way I was talking about. And we're gonna get some uh, big plays to the circle route. Jeez, man, there's just no, <laughs> no coverage there at all. <laughs> Not that there's a lot of defense in this game to begin with, but that was just dirty money. Uh, we got that cover three beater right in front of the cover three safety. This is gonna absolutely roast cover two if they actually give you some cover two looks. And that's a single high safety. As you can see, just come back to the ball a little bit and you're catching it right in front of that safety. So just some really basic, and you know, the spacing is just great. Oh my goodness, that was just like heat for days, but I got it away anyway. And as you can tell, I have not been putting the running back out. You can leave him back to block. Um, this is like I said, this is just your option if you're gonna do this. Um, I don't find it really does a whole lot. I mean Oh, we're gonna wipe that center right there I'd like to end this on one more big play I'd Like to get that off Waiting for that circle route to clear that cover too. He's just gone I mean that would be like I could would score from anywhere if I ran it like that like <laughs> on a cover two. Like cover two is so dead It's not even funny. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna move on to the next play one of the better pass plays that I really liked was the smash. And you can use this off of the motion that I was showing a couple times in that last play. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. And then we'll keep pick, we'll pick uh, random 4-3 again. So all I really want to do here is uh, motion over uh, Nelson. 
and I'm doing this so that I can basically create a cover two beater on the other side with Bennett and Montgomery. Um, this is like a typical, uh, you know, play action, uh, I think they call it like a PA power L, I'm not really sure. But either way, um, you have a good cover two beater on the right side, a good man beater on uh, the left side, which is Adams, and Bennett's a good man beater too. And then Rogers, your other tight end, is a really good cover three beater. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got here. And we got that cover, or we got that um, that man beater right at the gate. They really set the heat there. Um, you can also put Nelson, I put him on a streak, which is typically how I do it. But you can also put him on an out route. And uh, I don't like that depth, but it works in a it works in a lot of cover two scenarios to do that. And then also put him at a, a you can smart route him a little bit. I find that that works pretty decent, uh, which will also work against cover threes. And I don't know what that was, but he was just wide open. I gotta stop. I gotta stop playing Xbox because uh, this square route is just this X button is just pissing me off. Or refunction the keys or something. So I'm going to throw that right in that break. And you see how he just kind of rounds off there. And the defender just kind of sits in his heels and waits to get beat. Offense is so easy mode in this game. It's unreal. Um, you can also do a bench switch uh, concept out of the uh, the left side defenders. If you, don't, if you don't have a cover three, this is probably a good way to go. So on one side you got, uh, like I said, I think it's called a PA power. I know they have it in the I form a lot. And then on the left side... You have the uh, the bench switch concept. It'll work better if you have a good tight end. Um, I didn't make the best read there, but I'll take the couple yards that I got. But um, like I said, you really only want to run Rodgers up that seam if it's cover three. And the computer's not really giving me a lot of cover three looks. So it's real simple. Cover two now. Uh, really got a cover two beater on both sides. And I'm going to throw it on that, that uh, window again. I mean, that's just, he's just nothing. No covers there. No covers there at all. So let's go to motion our guy again. Like I said, still not seeing a lot of cover three looks. I'd really like one so I can show off that tight end route. And it's just like such easy, it's just so easy mode. If you throw when he makes that break, he's just wide open every time. I shouldn't say wide open, but he's just uh, un undefended. So whether you want to, you know, say he's wide open or he's just, he's just nobody on him, it's the same thing. So this looks like it might be a cover three. So let's leave Rogers doing what he's doing. And it's not. I mean, look at that. I, I could have ran under that. I actually messed that up by going off of the ball. Uh, that's just an easy mode route. But then again, offense is easy in this game. There's no defense in this game at all. Um, I got a couple of good defensive plays out of this. That's about it. Any defensive play in this game right now is a glitch. <laughs> there's, so, there's no defense in this game. So I think I hit everybody. Like I said, the only one I didn't hit was that Rogers route. But they're not giving me any cover three looks. Any cover three zones. This here might be, possibly. Can we get a cover three here? So I can show this playoff? Okay, kinda. <laughs> it looks like a cover three robber. But hey, I'll take it. That's all I'm gonna get. Computer's not cooperating, so let's move on. I, I gotta go with a run play. This this one right here um, is one of the best run plays. And, and it was just so dominant. The guy couldn't even stop. It was, it was, it was kind of ridiculous. So let's go ahead and let's pick this. Uh, it's the halfback toss strong. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick, um, I guess I'd pick a random 4-3. So this here, I was running this to the open side of the field a lot of times, but it doesn't matter. You can run it wherever you want to. I just don't want to run it like this um, with no blocking outside receiver edge defender or edge blocker rather. Uh, so what I really want to do is I either want to flip it right here. Just flip it inside to my receivers. I have a much better blocking setup, especially against zone. If it's a zone, you're going to have a real blocking advantage. Or my other option is leave it how it is and uh, motion over the outside receiver. I want to leave Adams there because he's still a good backside blocker in the slot, better than an outside receiver. So the look is re really this. You have two choices. Uh, I'm going to say I'm, that this one right here, I'm going to probably want to run it. Um, as you can see, I have a green, uh, green light to the one side as is. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to flip it back and run it to that side. Uh, but really, that guard, as long as he seals his block, which he, you know, not the best result first play. If it's a man coverage, you could run it as is, but it's really best to flip back inside. I find that a lot of times I try to run this outside, but if that guard comes open up the middle, a lot of times it's right there. Oh, wow, you could have blocked the outside guy, bro. I would have outran the other one. Thanks. 
Yeah, be not, I mean, if you see a huge gap like this, this is probably a good opportunity to switch over to the dive, which is in the custom or the uh, the preset audibles. But I'm trying to show this play, so I'm not going to do that. Sean Lee, I mean, they're, they're just getting off their blocks pretty quick. But I still got about 10 or 12 there. This play's capable of so much more. You see here, we got this dude dropping down. So he's probably going to cut this play off pretty quick. My guard picks him up, which is nice. And we're going to get about, you know, the same 10 to 12 every time. I don't know why practice mode is harder than online uh, rank matches. It's just how stupid this game is sometimes. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Come on, man. Who is this guy? Should have ran this against, like, the Vikings defense. I should have ran this against a real defense, and it probably wouldn't be doing as good as the Cowboys defense is doing right now. It's about 15. Oh, here we go. There's an opportunity to take it the other side. Oh, 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 that's a nice juke. <laughs> it's like at about 10. All right, so we're going to move on there. I think that's going to be it for part one. Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think I have enough for part two. So if you guys want to see the rest of this, make sure you go to my Patreon and check it out. Or hit the like button. If I get enough likes, maybe I'll just release it as a short, you know, ser short series of videos. Um, other than that, like I said, if you guys want to see uh, something out of the gun pack trips, I really, or gun pack trips, I really have a couple of decent options there. Um, that I have to lab a little bit more to make them really good but there's some good stuff in here so if you guys want to see that hit the like button and do that other than that thanks for watching man moisture out